Hey guys, this is Robert with Bad Luck Garage. If you've got a 4L80E transmission and you like to roll race, or if you just like to tow, you're going to want to watch this video. Okay guys, today's HP Tuner Tech Tip video is going to be short and sweet. I see this question asked a lot on the HP Tuner forums, and I've also seen it a few times on some Facebook pages I'm on. And the question is, is there some way to reprogram uh, my PCM with HP tuners to get my 4L80E transmission to hold first gear? Now what's really funny about this question is just about every time it's asked, uh, not, not so much on the HP tuner form anymore because you know now people have learned how to, how to take care of that and with the newest version of VCM suite, um, you know they've, they've given you a way to be able to take care of that. Um, but what's really funny is on other forums, a lot of the times when people ask that question, everybody's like, oh, you got to put this HD2 kit in it, you know, or you've got to rewire your shift solenoids or blah, blah, blah. None of that's necessary, guys. You can spend, uh, as I'm fixing to show you, about two minutes in your tune on HP tuners, and you can have that thing hold first gear until you blow the engine if you want to. Uh, now, now, there's a lot of different reasons you might want to hold first gear. Uh, it's not just a racing thing, okay? Uh, if you tow, you, you know, you'd like to move stuff around the farm or, or your yard or, or something like that. Um, you know, it's nice to be able to hold it down in first gear, especially if you're pulling a heavy load up a, up a steep hill or something. And the problem is the way the 4L80E transmission is set up, if you're under 50% uh, throttle, and even if you know you've got the the gear shift selector in first gear, it's going to force an upshift into second. Okay, so like I said, if you're towing a heavy load and you're just trying to creep up a hill, you don't have a lot of speed. Um, you know that's a bad thing. Also, for you guys who like to roll race, I'm sure you're doing it on a uh, on an airport and not out on the street, right? So. You know, you guys might want to be able to, you know, hold first gear so you don't have to wait for that downshift when you take when you take off. You know that that uh, that little bit of delay when you punch it and waiting for it to downshift sometimes that can mean the difference between a win and a loss. So the point to all this rambling is, you do not have to pull your transmission, pull your pan. You don't have to put a shift kit in. You don't have to do any of that uh, to get first gear hold on a 4L ADE transmission. So without further ado, we're gonna go in here to the computer and I'm gonna show you how it's done. Okay guys, like I said, this is this is a really simple thing to do. Um, the only thing is you, you have to make sure you're using, I think it's uh, HP Tuner's VCM Suite uh, version 3.2 or higher. Uh, version 2.24 does not support this, okay? So we'll just go ahead and get started. Uh, you just go up here, click on your transmission tab. Uh, you know, after you've opened your, you pulled your tune up there. And this is what, uh, you see all this here? If you notice in version 2.24, none of this exists, okay? This is in, or this is just in, I believe, version 3.2 and higher. Uh, in version 2.24, all you're gonna have is this normal tab over here under uh, part throttle shift. All right, so anyway, like I said, really simple, guys. Uh, that's not it, <laughs> sorry. Uh, you go, you're gonna wanna go over here to where it says D1 Urban. D1 means you have the uh, gear selector in drive, or I mean in uh, D1, which is, uh, of course, first gear. Um, normally, when you have the selector in first gear, if um, if you're not wide open, you know, I mean, it'll it'll shift out of first gear, you know, if you're just at part throttle. And here's why. Let's look at the the stock tune first. See, if you pull this open, you'll notice under this table, speed shift versus throttle position sensor percent, urban D1. If you notice uh, the one two shift, anything under 50% throttle and over 23 miles per hour it's going to upshift even if you're holding it down in d1 okay so it, here, here's the catch if you keep your throttle over 50 percent then it'll it'll stay in first gear indefinitely all right so all you need to do is change these tables 
I'm sorry, change these tables here to 255. That's it, guys. And I'm gonna I'm gonna flip back here to Project Steppenwolf's tune, so you can see that's that's all I've done. Okay, you just populate these tables with 255. Obviously, you're never gonna get uh, to 255 miles per hour in first gear. So, if you've got your selector in D1 and you've got these tables all set to 255, it will never shift out of first gear uh, until you click it up in the second. And you can see I've got my second gear, uh, you know, set the same way here. But of course, this is again, this is in D1, okay? Uh, so, I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. That's all you got to do. Uh, now, what you could do down here as a safety, just as a little safety net, uh, down here at 94 or 100% throttle, um, like let's say, I think mine's set up because I, I shift at 6200 RPMs and I have a 373 rear end. So, um, you know, I've got my other tables set for me to upshift from first to second if I just leave it and drive at, I think, 54 miles per hour. So what you could do is whatever you've got your other tables, you know, like, uh, yeah, your full throttle shift tables. Okay, well, I've got it set at 40. I've not changed. This is my old tune, guys. I've not updated this yet. Okay, so see, if you've got it set to shift at wide open throttle at 48 miles per hour, then what you can do is just go in here, just as a safety, you can go in here and again, you know, you 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 want uh, all this to be 255 miles per hour, but then down here at 100% throttle, because if you're at 100% throttle, you know, it's not going to shift anyway until you click it out of uh, uh, click it out of first gear. But just as a safety, in case, let's just say you're on the nitrous or you know. Uh, you were roll racing and you didn't quite realize that you know you were you know you were about to need to shift and you don't get it clicked up and you don't want it bouncing off the rev limiter just set these two tables here just go ahead and take those and set them to say you know your max up shift speed so 48 uh 48 miles per hour put it in your little math table there see so now what's going to happen is if you've got the gear, the gear selector in first gear, uh, say you're roll racing, you've got it held down in first gear, and you're cruising around, you know, 25, 30% throttle, you know, and you guys take off, but your engine just revs to the moon really fast. Um, if you, you know, once you're at full, at 100% throttle, at wide open throttle, even if you forget to shift at the end here, uh, it's going to go ahead and up, upshift at 48 miles per hour. So that could save your ass, you know, keep you from over revving your engine. All right, guys, like I said, that was short and sweet. Uh, takes all of two minutes to do. Just load that tune back up in your, uh, in your PCM and you're good to go. That thing's going to, uh, if, if you did it the first way I showed you and you just put the 255 all the way across, it'll hold first gear till you blow your engine as long as you've got it down in D1 you know uh, I highly suggest using the the little tip that I showed you where at about 94 to a hundred percent throttle uh, it'll allow it to go ahead and upshift like I said that you know that can be a, a lifesaver um, if something happens and you know you don't get it bumped up in time especially if you're on the bottle you don't want to be bouncing off the rev limiter on the bottle so uh, anyway I, I hope that helped you out like I said, it's real easy. Um, surprisingly, there are some people who are, you know, doing street tunes right now that, that still don't know about this feature. And a lot of the reason they don't is because there are a lot of tuners that are still using HP Tuners version 224. Uh, I'm kind of one of those because uh, what I've got going on is I'm using the version 3.6 editor now. Uh, but I'm still using the version 224 scanner uh, just because I'm, I'm having a lot of issues with the newest versions of the scanner. Just that's that's I'll save that for a whole nother video. But uh, but anyway, you know, this is this is for even, you know, the semi-professional guys that might not have upgraded to 3.6 and don't know about this feature uh, as well as, you know, somebody who may have just bought HP tuners. So if this video helped you out. 
uh, share it. Don't forget to click the little like button down there. And if you want to see more of these videos, be sure and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time here on Bad Luck Garage.